Ever since I first started working as an interaction designer, I was fascinated with this idea of using, using physical objects to represent and control information inside the computer. It turns out that despite its name, the touch screen actually does very little to um, take advantage of the human sense of touch. You can't reach into a touch screen and grab an image and hold it in your hand in the same way that you can grab a real physical object and hold it in your hand. And it's this fundamental difference in tangibility that's the difference between playing with a piano app on an iPad and playing a real piano. Human beings have these incredible skills to use our hands and our minds to employ physical objects around us as tools, and we should be building computers that take advantage of these tools. So uh, to explore this idea, I built the Sense Table, which is a sensing platform that tracks the positions of objects on top of it. And we've used it for a bunch of different kinds of applications. Um, here, we're using it to perform music. So each of the different objects on the table represents a different audio track, and by moving them around, we're, uh, we're creating music. I created a company to commercialize this idea, and we've applied it to supply chain management, financial data visualization, and my favorite, which is teaching kids about chemistry. Uh, this is an exhibit at the Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago. It's part of their um, huge new uh, science storms wing. And the idea is that we have a periodic table of the chemical elements, and um, people can use physical objects to grab atoms off the periodic table and try to bring them together to cause chemical reactions to happen. So for example, we could bring sodium and chlorine together, and uh, when we do that, we, uh, we create table salt. So each of the objects, each of the atoms or molecules that you interact with is represented by a physical object that you can hold in your hand. Um, and this sensing technology can be built into almost any tabletop surface. Um, it's tileable, so we can build interactive surfaces of arbitrary size. And uh, this isn't a prototype or a proof of concept. It's something out there in the world that crowds of people are using every day. So I wanted to take this idea further, and I thought, what if you could make your interaction with the computer be more like a physical tug of war? Um, it turns out that there are a lot of uh, different kinds of things that you might want to do with a computer that are difficult to express using software, but are easy to express using our intuition about how physical objects in the world behave. So I built this table that moves objects around on top of it using an array of electromagnets. And um, so the computer collaborates with you to uh, try to you know, help you perform whatever task you're, you're doing. In this case, we're trying to make an equilateral triangle. But you can reach in and guide that process however you want with your hands. I wanted to apply this to a real problem. I talked to engineers at Motorola um, about how they lay out cell phone towers. As you might guess by the number of dropped calls on your phone, uh, this is a pretty hard problem to solve. The idea here is that each of the physical objects on the table represents a different cell phone tower. And um, we can move them around. The computer is also moving, moving them around to try to um, optimize the cell phone coverage. And you can just sort of reach in and guide that process. So for example, uh, suppose you wanted a particular tower to be in a particular area of the city, you can just grab a physical object and use it as a barrier to confine that, ob that tower to the correct place. Or if you want to lock an a tower in a particular area, just put some sort of heavy object on top of it to hold it there. So the idea is that any um, physical interaction that you can have with the table has a reasonable interpretation in the context of the software that's running on the table. Even to the extent of uh, putting dish soap on the top of the table to make it easier for the computer to move things around. So this makes it easy to do something that historically has been very difficult to do with a computer, which is improvisation. So now we can use our everyday um, intuition about how objects behave in the physical world in order to understand how to interact with the computer. Thanks very much.